Hello everybody, this is Lawrence Moroni. I'm here at the TensorFlow Developer Summit. We're in the TensorFlow Cafe, and I have Jeremiah with me all the way from Zurich. That's right, it's been an exciting trip. So all the way from Zurich, and you announced TF Hub, TensorFlow mm -hmm. Hub at your talk, so tell me all about it. Uh, TensorFlow Hub is something we're really excited about. Uh, we realize that we want to help people reuse machine learning. Machine learning is really hard to do. You need a lot of stuff. So we're letting people package up good machine learning and share it with the world. Okay, now you built this in Zurich, right? We did, we did. This is our first big infrastructure project there. Um, we've been growing Google Research Europe. Uh, we have a brain team there that's been growing and our applied machine intelligence team uh, is also growing quick. Nice, nice. Now, so th this TF Hub, it's almost like a natural extension to some of the things that we've been doing on GitHub, right? Where we have like model repository in GitHub, but you're taking it a lot further. Right, right. Certainly sharing models isn't anything new. The big difference here is that we realize that when you share a model, it either fits your problem exactly, okay, or it doesn't <laughs> and you can't use it. Okay. Um, you know, you can either give it the inputs it wants and take the outputs. If you want to do anything outside that, you're sunk. Right. Okay. So TensorFlow Hub gives you smaller pieces, so it's more likely you can reuse them. I think the way to think about it is a model is like a binary, okay, and a module is like a library. Okay, a model is a binary and a module is a library. That's right. We need that on a t-shirt. That's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so wh where can I find all these? Where is TensorHub? Where, do, where does that live? TensorFlow Hub. You can check out tensorflow.org slash hub. TensorFlow, that's easy to remember. <laughs> so what kind of models are on there? Well, we've got all kinds of things. We certainly have um, ones for image processing, okay. uh, things that will let you help or help you build your own image classifiers. If you've used TensorFlow for poets, yep. we've really taken that process and streamlined it down to really a single line of Python. Um, wow. So we've got all kinds of uh, all kinds of models. Some of the newer ones include the neural architecture search models that are really state of the art. Okay. Um, as Andrew mentioned in his talk, those are incredible because with that one line of Python, you actually get over sixty thousand hours of GPU training uh, went into discovering the architecture and training it. Um, so it's pretty powerful. So one line gives me sixty thousand hours worth of training. You say? Sixty thousand GPU hours. Yep. And wow. So there's the image ones. We've also got some really exciting uh, text ones where you can give it the entire sentence. And it'll give you back a vector that characterizes it. And again, we can do that same TensorFlow for Poets trick where we build a classifier on top of it. Um, and one of the ones we're really excited about uh, is the universal sentence encoder. Okay. This is a paper that just came out on Archive last night. Um, so it's just hot off the presses. And it's great to see people that can use it instantly just by clicking on the TF Hub link that's in the paper. So what is it all about, the universal sentence encoder? Um, so this is some new work that is doing things like letting you understand the semantic differences between different sentences. Okay. Um, it actually works on a sentence level, which is a little bit different than word to vec uh, A okay. lot of those, you just look up a single word. Um, but this will take the entire sentence and consider that as it builds this characterization in the form of an embedding. Yeah, I remember always the, what was it, the fruit flies like bananas? Have you heard of that? That's right, that's right. That's the exact problem it's solving. Oh, cool. I, I, I'd have to look that up. So what was it called again? That's the Universal Sentence Encoder. And that's on TF Hub already? It's there, ready for you to use it. Oh, wow, I've got to check it out. So now if I'm like a specialist in building models in some scenario, I don't know what the scenario is, and I want to contribute, you know, how would I go about doing that? Yeah, we're really excited. We're working very quickly to make it possible for other people to upload and share these things. I think that's something that's really important to us. Um, because certainly, as uh, talented as we are inside Google, you know, TensorFlow is really a, a, a global uh, community. And there's the wisdom of crowds, right? There's, there's a lot of people who know stuff that we don't know, and they can really That's help right. Us that's out. right. So, cool. So thank you so much. This, this has been so much fun, and I've learned so much already. So I really want to try some of these uh, models that you've told me about. So thank you, Jeremiah. That's been fun. And thanks, everybody, for watching this episode. If you've got any questions for me, if you've got any questions for Jeremiah, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're looking for any of the links we spoke about, we'll put them in the description. And whatever you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.